He's the kind of guy that wants to be there. He wants to see his kids play. He wants to see his kids practice. You know, it's not that he has to be there or he's got to watch over them. It's more, I think that's his satisfaction for, and that's his reward for his hard work. When I left my home, I go by boat. Around three day, two night in the ocean. Seem look like a nightmare. You never see the the land. I dream. That's why I left my home. Make good job. Have life, good life, and happiness. I got three kids. The first boy is David. The second one Kevin, and third one is Steve. When I have all my boys, and uh, I think I have to find the way, I want to change them and not be mechanic anymore. In my family, not anybody graduate high school. That's why I want all my boy good school, good sport. I make different. That's why I choose the hockey. The more I got to know him, I got to see what was important to him. And that one, his kids were interacting and, and getting exercise, interacting with good people, good kids, but that his boys were working hard and putting their full effort forth um, in whatever they did. They focus on being thankful for what they have. They're some of the few kids in the program that after every practice, they'll come up and give you a little fist bump or give you a little high five and say, hey, thanks coach. And B's the same way too. He's one of the few parents almost ever practice. Thank you. If you give his kids an opportunity to skate, he's going to be coming and thank you, or give you a hug, or give you, bring you a little sandwich and or a little Gatorade, which he does half of the time. I always tell him not to. Having his kids come here to our rink and be a part of the Junior Sharks is complementing B's job and B's role as a role model, as a father. See, that's the small one. That's the first year. I have this small one. My awesome guy. That's why I love him so much. Oh, here, yeah, all together. Oh, my boy. Three guys. That's uh, Steve Swat. <laughs> he right here. Kevin and David. Or oh, sometimes we clean up right here. We can go over here. Easy. That's a nice, you know? That's very nice. And he can work, you know. Sometimes he play hockey, small <laughs> mini hockey right here. That's what I have on the mini hockey for him. He you know? works hard for Something his kids. Like and he doesn't come from much. He's living paycheck to paycheck with three boys, divorced, and struggles to make ends meet. May not have that much as far as when it comes to material, but when it comes to love for his kids, support for his kids, and a desire to give his boys something that he didn't have. I mean, he's the richest man there is around. 2013-2014, we had a we had a few games down in Southern California. They were the last games of the season. And we just got back to the hotel after a game. And I get a phone call saying that B's car was stolen. And inside the car were some valuables, uh, cash, computer, as well as David's hockey equipment. It was absolutely devastating. Everybody pitched in, bought him a pair of skates, new equipment, and the smile on his face, the smile on B's face, the smile on the boys, it was an unbelievable experience. It's these stories where we always can go back to it and say, you know what, that's why I coach. That's why I want to give back. It's the human element of people just caring. Nobody cares where you come from. Nobody cares uh, what you, where you grew up. Nobody cares your status in society. 
you instantly have 17 to 20 new brothers or sisters on a given year and, and get to go through the battles and the, the trials and the tribulations of sports. The PCA message is so important where, you know, it really is about positive. It's really about, you know, making yourself better, making your teammates better. And by doing so, you're gonna make the game better. They're so thankful. Like, B is so thankful for what individual coaches or the organization has given back to him by just caring for his kids and just helping him out. But nobody ever talks about, or very few times do we get the opportunity to thank B or others for entrusting his most prized possession with us, which is are his boys. Being on the ice is, that's definitely for the boys, that's their happy place. And they get on the ice, nothing else in the world matters to them. I am a lucky one, that means uh, I'm very proud. I want all my kids to have happiness. I will show her, that means I, want, I don't want you to give up. But I try all my best, you know. I'm not be hero, but I do what I can. I think that's why people really want to help him want to help the kids. Not that they need help, not that they are asking for help with their hand out. Uh, I think just in this world that's full of craziness, you want to reward the good. You know, my favorite, you know, every time we come back home, we sleep, you know, we can see everything in here. That he say, the hockey family, the hockey house. <laughs>